Welcome to a recap of today's open source live code hangout. Today, I've been working on the Open Learning Quest project, at least the game project. Open Learning Quest has three sub projects. We're intending to build an educational game where players build competencies and understanding as part of an interactive story. We also have a, a mini games project used to develop small projects where we build game mechanics in one or more around one or more educational concepts and a, an experiments project where we have just ideas that we want to try try out and with no real game mechanic or goal in mind just to see how it works in the Godot game engine. Every step in this journey is a learning step and there's learning involved in, in a way. Uh, so today's step was to create some initial documentation for the project, kind of describing the philosophy and rationale driving the Open Learning Quest project, as well as begin or lay the foundations to write a game design document which will include a lot of elements, a lot of details describing our intentions. And it'll be, these will both be living documents. We can update as, as we learn new um, competencies and skills and find limits or change our mind or get feedback from the play testers, et cetera. This is a, intended to be a living project and a participatory project. If you're interested in game design or open educational resources, design in general, we, we would like to hear your thoughts. You can stop by github.com slash open learning quest and join one of our discussions. If it's relating to the primary game, well, the game project discussions is probably the best place. But if you've got an idea for a mini game that's something small and achievable, you can stop by the mini games project and say, hey, it would be cool to have this flashcard game or anything like that. These don't have to be a big narrative driven things. They can just be something small that a player can spend, you know, five minutes doing and win or lose. They can be, uh, doesn't have to be binary like that. It can be just something you tinker around with, a sandbox, you know, gravity, using gravity and physics to interact with something. And anyway, all these ideas are valuable and we'll discuss them. And if uh, it gets enough traction, then we can put it into our issue queue and start developing it again using the Godot game engine. All right. Well, this has been another open source code hangout. Thanks for your time. And I hope you're doing well.